During an official funeral, former government minister Melvin Hulse was laid to rest in Stan Creek Valley where he was born in 1948. He was 74. The colorful minister who was known for his phrases, flipping and madderfish, was humble, honest and brutally direct. Melvin, the person. Melvin was realistic and accepted that he was a lousy husband but a great father. <laughs> He was a selfless man with an infectiously charming character, a compelling speaker, naturally intelligent, unpretentious, a grassroots advocate, son of the soil, especially for his beloved Southern Belize, a visionary, a modern name Robin Hood, who took from the rich to give the poor. He wanted to be remembered as the father of the South. Melvin grew up at Doskowatz Farm at mile 17 and a half on the Sand Creek Valley Road. It is there that he found his love for nature and developed his lifelong selfishness. This trait made him serve as a member of the Lions Club and the Colombian Guards, where he worked during an after hurricanes in both Belize and Bangriga. Melvin, the student. Melvin received his primary school education at St. Catherine's Elementary in Belize up to Standard 5 when he left for London. He later returned to Belize where he attended Lyman Jesuit College and then Junior College where he studied chemistry and maths. Melvin, the educator. He was an instructor at Lyman High and Sandwich High. As the area rep, he increased his chances for many more people to ascend school and fought for quality education for teachers, something he was very proud of. Melvin worked with his dad in the Lockwood and Mahogany Dental Street cutting, extracting, and rafting logs down the Belize River to Belize City. He also extracted cheaply. He drove heavy machinery, including dump trucks, 18 little robots, tractors, and bulldozers, building roads, clearing the land, and hauling mahogany logs. The employees in the mahogany camp cost a lot, and Melvin saw he was going to be better, so he said he used words like motherfish and flipping as adjectives. This, ladies and gentlemen, was the beginning of the now famous nickname that Melvin became officially known as Flipping. Flipping won his first election in 1989 for the United Democratic Party, and he never let dividing political lines disrupt his goal to develop the South. We have never ever had any confrontation. I decided to enter politics in the year 2003. I said, you know what? I'm happy Melvin is not running. <laughs> because I knew him quite well, and I knew I could not defeat him very well so easily. And so when I had another candidate, I was victorious in the election. But Melvin came back in 2008, and he gave me a truncheon. <laughs> he defeated me by 825 votes. <laughs> I worked very hard. And I, and I reversed 825 votes. Surprisingly, in four years, I was able to defeat him in the 2012 election. In 2015, when I almost lost the election, I won by eight votes. He came to me before the election and said, well, I'm going to make you deliver the seat. He said, I'll make all my people who voted for me vote for you. <coughs> okay, I went, to very, I, went, I went against a very difficult contender, so I was a very much from independence. I lo and behold, I won all the seats in the valley where Melvin was well known, along Silver Hopkins, and all independents where the gentleman was from. So after the election, Melvin came to me and he said, Sir Radwell, despite the eight votes, I made you win. <laughs> and over the past few years, Hulse accepted his fate, having developed stage four colon cancer. He refused to go as a victim of the disease, and until his last day, he was vibrant, a true testament of his character that everyone appreciated and gravitated to. As most of you know, my dad was not his sickness, but it was a big part of our lives, especially towards the end. It was a time in his life where he showed the most strength, and we need to thank those that helped him fight this battle. Thank you to Jules Vasquez and Rene Neva Sr. for documenting some of the highlights of his life. I remember when the interview came out, the five of us watched it all together, and I've never seen him so proud of himself. He was so humble and never admitted all the work he did. 
but it was the first time he got to see himself through other people's eyes. Thank you for giving him the recognition he deserved. Reporting for Love News, Hippolyta Novello.